Hi, my name is Shankar Gumare and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your on-premise system with SAP Business Technology Platform. So what all components we need? We need Cloud Connector. Uh, the Cloud Connector, which I'm using in the, this demo, uh, came up with um, uh, SAP ABAP Developer Edition. It's pre-installed. All you have to do is start the service. Um, and if you want to know how to do it, I would recommend you to refer SAP's uh, instructions on installing ABAP Developer Edition in Docker container. So the default password for the uh, Cloud Connector, if you're doing it at first time, is uh, the user is administrator with A in uppercase and password is manage. Now, once you log in, you will be brought on this page where you have to set up your uh, business technology platform sub account. I will go to my business uh, technology platform account and then we'll navigate to go to trial account then select your sub account in here and all the information you need on cloud connector is accessible here now uh, if i switch back to my cloud connector the first thing is uh, a region you have to select your region and if you see in uh, your sub account uh, information down here the api endpoint refers to your uh, region in my case uh, i have us10 in the url that's easy to find out so if i go type us10 it will show up my uh, region which is east US East VA, uh, w, AWS, and that's the region uh, I'm logged on to, which we can see it here. The next thing is uh, we need sub account. Now, sub account is also accessible here. Uh, this is my sub account, so I will copy that ID there. Uh, display name, what would you like to name this uh, connection? Because you can connect to multiple sub accounts, so I will say it's BTP Connect. Uh, the login email id this is the sub account user id and a password and once you enter all this information press on save now if you have entered everything uh, correct or uh, from your btp account then this will make a, a connection with a business technology platform or btp now it says connected status that means it's connected now if we go back to your uh, business technology platform sub account and under connectivity, go to cloud connectors. So here you will be able to see your connection. Right now the status is connected, but it does not show any exposed backend system. So we just establish a link between on-premise system or on-premise network uh, to business technology platform. Now the next step is to map our backend systems so those can be accessible on a business technology platform. So I'll go back to cloud connector and then I'll go under cloud to on-premise then add and select here a uh, kind of system you are uh, you know exposing or your system is i'm planning on to expose all my o data services so i will select sap gateway next uh, select a protocol so i have https so i will select https select your internal port of your host then leave virtual host as is or you can change based on your uh, configuration uh, principal type none i mean no change host in request header i prefer to have internal host which doesn't really matter because i have same host and a virtual host so on the last page you can check this box to see a status of your internal host okay so the check results is reachable that means the host is up and running now we mapped our backend system but we did not map any resource yet. So if I go back to my uh, business technology platform account, uh, I would see the exposed backend system is listed here, but resources are none. And that's the next step. So there is a granular control on what all things you can expose. You can expose a system, but then you have to have uh, control on what services you want to expose. It's not explicit, you know, everything is accessible. So I'll go back to Cloud Connector. Now I will go under resources. And I will add a new resource. I will add SAP slash SAP, and then I will say path and all subpaths. This means anything under SAP namespace would be accessible through uh, BTP and save. Now, both these statuses are green. Now, if I go back to my uh, BTP account, here it says uh, the resource is available. That means the system is exposed, uh, is accessible on a BTP, and a resource is also mapped we made a connection between uh, BTP and the on-premise system. Now the next part is to just consume this um, uh, cloud connector or to utilize cl cloud connector to access resources. 
So let's access this system in uh, Business Application Studio. For that, I will go under Instance and Subscriptions. In my case, I have already accessed Business Application Studio before. So uh, I have an instance, but if you don't have instance, you can go uh, here under Service and Marketplace and then activate Business Application Studio or subscribe to Business Application Studio and it will be listed here. Now I will launch that. Since I have used Business Application Studio before, uh, the instance is already instance was already created, but it's stopped because if you don't use it for a certain time, the instance automatically stops to release the resources. So I will start my instance again. If you're planning on to use your uh, backend system for something else, then you know uh, SAP Fury, or you know you want to build Node.js applications, or you have some different purpose, then in that case you can go to destinations here in a, a BTP a cockpit. And then you can create a destination right here. Now, if you create a destination here, you could consume that destination in Business Application Studio as well. But if we create a destination in Business Application Studio, it adds uh, some required settings on its own instead of you doing it manually. So I prefer that way. And that's why I launched my Business Application Studio. So once you launch your Business Application Studio, you will be on this page. Here you, on the left hand side, you see a bunch of options within these options. You can see down here, there is an option for service center. So select service center and this will list your SAP system and your sub account. Now under sub account, you can add your SAP system. So let's add our uh, backend uh, SAP system in sub account. I'll give a name ABAP, uh, ABAP 1909. That's our system. My URL is on HTTPS. So select the system type, which is a ABAP service catalog, client 001. The proxy is on premise. And authentication is basic. I will enter my backend developer, my backend user, which is developer. And I'll select product as SAP S4 HANA because this is S4 HANA system. And add. Now this will create a, a destination if you go back to your uh, BTP account and under connectivity a destination you should see a new uh, destination as ABAP 1909. Now if I expand this this should uh, extract all uh, Odata services from my backend system S4 system and should list it here. So let's use one of the service and create a Fury application. I will go to my welcome page here and I will uh, create a brand new project from a template. So select start from template. Uh, I will select SAP Fury application next. Uh, let's create list report, uh, list report object page next. So on a drop down, you will see connect to system. And in the system, you have ABAP 1909, which is our destination to backend system. Select, uh, let's pick approval that's the easiest one to use next uh, let's pick the main entity as purchase order and navigation entity as two items next give a name let's call PO list leave the path or you can change where you want to store this project uh, deployment configuration you can say or yes or no based on your requirement if you say yes you have option to choose where you want to deploy you can deploy on a cloud foundry or you can deploy on your backend system i'll say yes i'll show you where that option is again you can uh, add more configurations free launchpad configurations there are a couple of advanced options if you if you have uh, special needs next now since we uh, we selected deployment configuration it will bring you bring us on deployment configuration if you don't then that, that would be the last step in here you can select where you want to deploy your uh, application so by default is selecting a bar because that's what we selected in first place as our source uh, for this application but you can change target to whatever you want to deploy to so we have a app option and a cloud foundry option so let's select cloud foundry Select the destination because this is where the router will uh, route our traffic and finish. If you select a map, then it will give you, uh, you know, additional options like, you know, you have to specify application name and so on. So you will be able to deploy on your backend system. 
Now this is the project is getting generated, which you which we can see it here. Installing dependencies. Once our project is uh, uh, ready, we can go in file and we can open workspace and select that new project, and we will have a project. Okay, so our project is uh, ready now. In the end, it gives us a, a basic summary of what what we uh, you know did or what project we created with uh, you know the application name and so on. So let's go to file and open a workspace, which is our brand new project open. Now this should launch our uh, new project, which we can see it down here. And if you want to test your project right here without deployment, like, you know, local uh, uh, test, you can run npm start and this will launch our project uh, as a on a local, uh, you know, web dispatcher or a web server. So our application works. So let's try if we get the data. And there you go. So we have our, uh, you know, backend data accessible here. And this is how you can connect your backend systems in business technology platform. Now, in this example, I have connected one system, which you, we can see it here. But if you have, let's say, more than one system, you have option to add multiple systems in here. Uh, if you want to have a granular control on what all services you want to expose, uh, you know, adding SAP as a wildcard wouldn't be a best practice. Uh, which you can do it here by specifying each individual URL path uh, or like let's say you want to expose your own data service you can just you know uh, define your path and you put it here so only that service is accessible from external the, the, the cloud connector works as a like a private VPN between a business technology platform and your on-premise system so that's all for this video uh, let me know if you have any comments suggestions down below and thank you and see you in the next video